Uh, excuse me, Hunter. Apparently, you're afraid of my words. Uh, here goes. Oh. I like to reclaim my time, Mr. Chairman. Wow, that's too bad. I think it's clear and obvious for everyone watching this hearing today that Hunter Biden is terrified of strong conservative Republican women. The House of Chaos is in full effect, y'all. Full effect, and that is an understatement to say the least. Hunter Biden and Marjorie Taylor Greene are beefing. Well, we been knew that. Hunter Biden storms out of the House Oversight Committee after popping up, I wouldn't say unannounced, more so like unexpected. They wanted Hunter Biden to testify. They wanted him to testify in private. Hunter Biden said, uh, no, let's do this thing in public. What we're about to watch is him storming out right before Marjorie Taylor Greene um, had a chance to speak to him. If you know Marjorie Taylor Greene, Marjorie Taylor Greene, she is not my favorite politician. She is annoying is an understatement. I'm not, I'm just going to be honest, y'all. She is not my favorite person. I just don't trust that lady. I don't trust a lot of politicians, but I don't think he was necessarily trying to avoid her. I think he didn't want to give her the time of day. I don't, I think he didn't want to give her the satisfaction. So he did leave. Recognize Ms. Green from Georgia for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, excuse going? me, Hunter. Oh, Apparently you're afraid of my words. Uh, here <laughs> oh. I like to reclaim my time, Mr. Chairman. Wow, that's too bad. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think it's clear and obvious for everyone watching this hearing today that Hunter Biden is terrified of strong conservative Republican women because he can't even face my words as I was about to speak to him. What a coward. I'm going to be honest. I don't think... Okay, I didn't like how she brought up the whole he can't face strong Republican women. I don't think it has anything to do with the fact that you're a Republican and you're a woman. It's the fact that the level of disrespect she did have when it came to putting and blasting out certain things in the House Committee. However, I'm not saying Hunter Biden is innocent, nor am I saying he's above the law. Point blank period. Nobody's above the law. I don't think him leaving had anything to do with the fact of like he's scared of her i think it just merely was based off of the fact that he does not want to give her that satisfaction not only that i don't know who's in charge of the house committee the oversight committee because that is where all the drama is like happening literally I, I i can't believe these are the some of the most powerful people in this country and they're exhibiting this type of behavior be for real like the whole you're a coward and this and the third the name calling it's just like baby y'all are getting paid six figures to do that toya sparks she literally was she was she didn't hold back when it came to him she felt like he was entitled they called him privileged they said the fact that he can just walk in walk out as if he wasn't subpoenaed to come in they tried to hold him from a contempt of court like so much was just going on i'm just like mm. What's going on? Blatant disregard of congressional subpoena that how he does. He actually dears enough. No other American would show up actually and in the face, you know, of Congress and defy and say, I'm going to decide how things are going to happen. This is just respectful, disrespectful. Only someone who think a little too much of himself would go actually do something. People might disagree fighting in the courts, but not in the face. As Representative Bishop said, that is actually extremely disrespectful to this institution to do what he is doing. And if we look at the matter of the fact, we can debate and try, you know, to, to get attention to other issues and deliberate. But also Okay, for those who may not know the background story of it, long story short, pretty much they are trying to allege, I should say allege, Alleged, allegedly Hunter Biden is being charged for mishandling of funds. Now with the whole background with Marjorie Taylor Greene and Hunter Biden, this was the second time that she actually showed these pictures in the committee, the oversight committee. I was perplexed. I'm not gonna lie. I was perplexed when I saw that. They did blank out the explicit parts, but let's watch it here. Uh, currently employed. 
with FSS management between June 2018 and October 2021. Victim one, Hunter Biden's victim, was employed by a Wasco PC as evidenced by her receipt of bi-weekly payroll remittances from a Wasco PC. However, during this same period of time, victim one also received large round dollar wires from a Wasco PC, which referenced new hire, K wage, 10K golf member, and pay. Victim one received five wires totaling $44,508 in a four month period between June 12, 2018 and October 2nd, 2018. These are reports that are calling so-called uh, employees of Hunter Biden and his law firm victims. And here's evidence of Hunter Biden violating the Mann Act. This is trafficking women across state lines for prostitution. Uh, this is an airplane ticket uh, showing that it was, and it was purchased by Hunter Biden uh, for this victim where she flew from Los Angeles to Washington, D.C. And then the next day flew uh, back to Los Angeles the date is uh, she flew in from Los Angeles on June 14th, 2018 and was flown back to Los Angeles um, the, ver the following day. And this is pictures that Hunter Biden had produced and uploaded to porn websites. And it's marked Mr. out, Chairman, point of parliamentary marked out point, showing point proof, of, parliamentary uh, inquiry, Mr. proof Chairman, of Man I, Act I, violations. Uh, um, Democrats should should thank, not thank, be okay. offended by pictures uh, that Chairman, black out. If I've been recognized. Okay. This was. Let me. <clears throat> okay. Okay. I'm just like. Okay, for one. They're showing the pictures. Okay, cool, calm, collected. They bl they blacked it out. They blacked it out. But my thing is like, my in my head, I'm just like both sides. The way they're conducting themselves, and this is our taxpayer money, y'all. Mind you, our taxpayer money. The way that they're just conducting themselves, both on the left and on the right, it's just like, bruh. Let's continue. Be offended by point of parliamentary and trafficking. Mr. Sorry, Chairman, state your point. Thank you kindly, Mr. Chairman. On July 26, I sent you a letter about the last time this happened when the general lady uh, introduced Taking a picture. Uh, before this committee without any notice to uh, anyone uh, nude photos, pornographic uh, images that were completely irrelevant. To okay. Long story short, this is just the beginning. Do I think this is going to come up during the debate with Trump and Biden this year? Well, I can't officially say Trump and Biden, but as of right now, it's going to be Trump and Biden again, even though there's still people running under Democrats, people running under independent, people running in Republican, that nothing is for sure, but the numbers don't lie as of right now. Do I think this stuff is going to come up? Yes, 110%. I think that Trump is going to bring this up specifically, not necessarily the photos, but I do think he's going to bring up an insinuation that Hunter Biden is doing Biden's Joe Biden's dirty work behind the scenes, whatever the case may be. Now, Marjorie Taylor Greene, let me get off of her. Third, no one is above the law. I honestly am still, I want to say I'm confused on what they're trying to point hunter biden in because i know they're trying to say that he has mishandling of funds and joe biden was behind him joe biden knew and so forth but it's almost like i feel like the republicans they're missing a piece to actually like there something is missing as in regards to like um a substantial amount of evidence right now it just seems a little bit chaotic it just seems a little bit disorganized so it's hard for me to truly believe what they're trying to paint him under mainly because of the lack of evidence however like i said before hunter biden is not innocent he is far from innocent no he's not above the law i do think there were had there has been some things done behind the scenes that was probably um, corrupt or so forth whatever the case may be but you have to prove beyond a reasonable doubt and right now i think everything's just in shambles the republicans they don't have a lot of things aligned i do believe um i don't know y'all if, if you watch my channel if you know me you know i don't trust nobody but god like i think both sides are from the same tree and different branches so it is kind of unsettling to see this happen mainly because this is our taxpayer dollars and these are the people who are supposed to be leading the country but 
but welcome to America. With that being said, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Be sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you're notified whenever I post a new video. Follow me on my social media. We're on the road to 10K. I literally love y'all by the grace of God. Thank you all. All glory to God. This is Uruak Connecting People with Policy. I love y'all all. God bless y'all. Deuces.